Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here. In today's pick a card reading, we are going to be looking at what is happening for you guys during this Mercury in retrograde. Um, this is a timeless reading because what I'm about to say, uh, Mercury in retrograde happens about three to four times a year. So it's not like a super special event or anything like that. But if you were to be watching this the same time that I'm posting it, this Mercury retrograde will be happening a day after we have a solar eclipse in Aries. And Mercury retrograde for when I post this is going to be happening from April 21st all the way through May 14th. So this is what's going to be applying for you. But if you happen to click on this video at a later time, um, just go ahead and look into when the next Mercury retrograde will be happening for you. And this reading will be for you during that time frame. So I have three cards that you guys can choose from for today. Pile one, you guys are the card that says yin, number two. And I'm sorry if my ring light is reflecting off the card. But pile one, this is going to be you guys. Pile two, you you guys are the card that says Regeneration, number 46. And pile three, you guys are the card that says Happy Happy, 26. So when you guys have chosen a card, go ahead and go to my description box. I will have the timestamps down below so you can just jump straight into your reading. But before I go ahead and get started with my pile one people, like I always say in all my videos, um, um, I am offering paid private readings at this time on my Etsy page. I will have the link for that down below if anyone is interested. And if you are feeling obliged to, you don't have to do this, but if you are feeling generous, I do have an option where you guys can send me a tip through PayPal or Cash App. But again, only do that if you want to do that. So. That's all that I have to say, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my pile one people, and I will see all of you guys very, very soon. Pile one. So you guys, sorry, you guys went ahead and chose the card that says yin number two. So like I was saying in the intro, this is going to be your guys' pick a card reading about what is going to be happening for you during this Mercury in retrograde. Uh, like I was saying before, Mercury in retrograde does happen three to four times a year. So you could be coming across this video at a future date. This is a timeless reading. So just go ahead and check when the next Mercury retrograde is happening for you. But if you're watching this when I post this, Mercury retrograde is going to be happening from April 21st all the way through May 14th. Um, but what's very interesting about this Mercury in retrograde pile one is, first of all, Mercury is going to be in Taurus. And when I think of Taurus, Taurus rules Venus as well as the second house. This is going to be talking about your values, your possessions, how you make money, your work ethic, as well as what makes you feel comfortable, like the way that you splurge on yourself. This could be through money, food, love. Like it's making me think of not addictions, but things that make you feel good, right? So that's what's going to be happening during Mercury um, in retrograde. And then also the day before, which is going to be April 20th or 420, right? Uh, we are having a solar eclipse in Aries. So this is all about new intentions, new things coming to the surface. And when I think of Aries, Aries is Mars energy. This is your first house. So I'm seeing changes when it comes to our new intentions, when it comes to your ideas, your thoughts, your outlook, your physical body, um, but it's very aggressive. So we have Aries, which is a fire sign, and then Taurus, which is like this earth placement. So again, I'm seeing a lot of drive when it comes to what you value as well as how you go about that. So that's kind of the main thing that I'm seeing for not just you, but for everyone when it comes to this Mercury retrograde. But I'm kind of rambling, so I'm going to move on. So what your reading is going to be looking like, Pile 1, I'm going to be going over your guys' channeled message that I was feeling for this card. And then I was going to be making three piles for you. I was going to be making a pile of what you're going to be focusing on during this Mercury, Mercury Metro... I'm speaking too fast. Mercury Retrograde. <sighs> fuck. Sorry. <laughs> so that would be pile one. And then I'm going to make another pile talking about things that you can look forward to or blessings. And then we're going to make be making a third pile of challenges or lessons that you need to learn during this time. And then I will be ending, ending your video off with charms. And I'm so sorry if I'm stuttering when I talk really fast. Um, 
I don't know if it's just because it's it's like a me thing. I think I my mind and my mouth don't match up. My mind is constantly racing and then my mouth is trying to catch up and it just it doesn't. So <laughs> apologies for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a channel message. So yin is making me think of cups energy. This is like feminine energy because there's yin and yang, right? Um, yin is all about thinking, thought process, more about feeling, intuitiveness. And yang is all about active forward movement, like putting your thoughts into action. So I'm seeing the two, almost like the two of cups, I guess. So I'm hearing peace offering in my head. So someone may be coming forward to offer some sort of peace offering to you during this Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm hearing forgiveness, apologizing. So there's some sort of apology or forgiveness or peace offering that I'm seeing that you guys could be reaching to someone else or someone could be reaching to you. And I'm hearing the phrase um, offering an olive branch. So yeah, it's making me think that someone's going to be wanting to offer something to you. And again, this could be an apology or this could be someone trying to get to know you or reach out to you. And I'm not really sure if you're going to be taking the bait or not, but I'm seeing someone in per Now I'm hearing secret admirer, so I'm kind of getting some mixed messages. I feel like someone could be wanting to apologize for something, but then I'm also getting that there's someone that has a peaked interest in you. But I'm seeing that during this Mercury retrograde, you guys are going to be getting some sort of message. Maybe someone's going to be complimenting you, but I'm seeing someone wanting to... I'm hearing reciprocate affection, so I don't know if you guys have put some sort of intention out there. I'm not really seeing you taking any movement. I'm seeing it more kind of come towards you. So just expect some sort of communication, some sort of apology, maybe, you know, admiration from someone, but someone wants to come forward and offer or say something to you during this time. Let's uh, see what zodiac sign this person could be so you can kind of get like a heads up. What zodiac sign wants to reach out to my pal when people? Okay, they could be a Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. They could be a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. Or they could be a Capricorn again. So strong Capricorn placements and possibly some Scorpio placements. Let's do it one more time. Capricorn three times. So a Capricorn wants to reach out during this Mercury retrograde. Um, let's see what house. Let's see why they want to reach out. Okay, ninth house. This talks about learning, wisdom, taking a risk on something. It does make me think of truth for some reason, but it's making me think of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, um, expansion. So they want to offer something that could move something else along, opening something up. But I'm also hearing something that is risky, something that would take a lot of balls for them to do, um, and also possibly something that they may have learned during this time. So yeah, I'm seeing that I don't know, this may be someone that you haven't talked to in a while, or maybe if this is someone that you haven't talked to before, but I'm seeing someone watching you from afar, um, maybe learning in the process of that. I'm not really sure. But that's what I was getting for you guys' cards. So let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what is up for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the three piles right now, pile one, and if you want to skip the shuffling part, you can. Uh, but let's see, what... What is happening for pile one when it comes to things they need to know? Okay, first pile. Blessings are things that pile one can look forward to for this Mercury retrograde spirit. Challenges or lessons. Okay. Things that pile one's going to be focusing on. You got two for that. Things that Pile 1 is going to be looking forward to during this Mercury Retrograde. Two cards for this as well. <laughs> okay, Lessons that Pile... Oops. This is like not wanting to stay on the card. It's wanting to slip away. Alright. Things that Pile 1 can look forward to during this time. Or what you're going to be focusing on. Blessings. Okay for that and lessons for a pile all right things that pile one's gonna be focusing on during this mercury retrograde blessings for okay 
Good lord, these cards are just flying everywhere. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move these other piles aside for now. Let's go ahead and see what your main focus is going to be when it comes to this Mercury retrograde. So you have the Grand Cross Provoker. You got number 47. So again, 47, if you add it together, that would be an 11. Um, that is an angel number that you guys could be seeing. Um, but when I think of four and seven, four makes me think of your foundations. Seven makes me think of relationships. So I'm seeing that you guys may be provoking someone to come forward like again like I was saying there's going to be someone that wants to reach out to you possibly or maybe something that you say could be yeah I'm seeing this ace of cups in this moon you're going to be provoking someone like maybe someone's feelings maybe your own feelings okay you got the catch you'll get what you go after you must make the first move and search for inspiration romance yeah i'm telling you guys i'm seeing something that has to do with connections with someone in particular it doesn't have to be romantic in a sense i'll go over these two other cards in a minute but i'm feeling like you guys are going to be provoking someone to make some sort of confession apologize or be vulnerable with you and if it's not someone else i'm seeing you do it with another person this card does say that you need to go after what you want and take the first move but i was kind of getting like you are going to be in this mode of waiting right the yin makes me think of not taking action so i feel like someone else is going to be taking action towards you um this card says your feelings are worth exploring attracting a new romantic partner growing deeper feelings so again this could be you connecting with someone on a more intimate level it doesn't have to be romantic it could be someone that you haven't talked to in a while or maybe this is just someone that you know you haven't really been connecting with as much but you're provoking someone to be vulnerable with you during this mercury retrograde Let's see if these other cards are you got support as well as the ace of cups i cannot make this up i was feeling that card was the ace of cups for you guys and it says love new feelings emotional awakening creativity spirituality intuition so yeah i feel like you guys are going to really be wanting to i don't know if you're gonna be really wanting to but it definitely seems like someone really wants to reach out to you so the main thing that you're focusing on during this mercury retrograde is knowing that you are supported by this person maybe trying to work on this connection with this capricorn sun moon or rising or the scorpio sun moon or rising um again maybe someone wants to reach out and to apologize and to be like you know i still support you even though i don't agree with the things that you're doing you know i still have love for you um i miss you i hope you're doing well it could be something as small like that, but I'm seeing two people, you know, being open and honest, having an honest conversation, um, and it could be someone that likes you romantically, or it could be someone wanting to say sorry about something. So uh, let's see if we can get some more info with my dice really quick. Okay, so you got the 11th house, you got Libra as well as the sun. So yeah, I'm seeing friends or groups of people. This is literally relationships and the sun is truth, optimism, happiness. So whatever this is, again, I'm hearing truth and confession. I'm seeing that this is going to be somewhat of a happy resolution for you. Um, it seems like you guys may be feeling like you are being admired or in the spotlight. And I'm seeing the sun in the, in the 11th house. The 11th house is major, like, why am I saying major? Many people, right? So you're going to be noticed out of the many is kind of what I'm getting. So you guys may be recognized during this time. Someone may be wanting to compliment you, like I was saying. Um, but I'm hearing appreciation. So I'm hearing someone appreciates you. Someone wants to show you that they value you, that they find you special, that they find you unique. And also, you know, if they want to apologize for how they treated you or made you feel, they will do that during this time. Um, and like I said, I was getting Capricorn. Corn. They could also have some Libra placement, so Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but I've seen Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio. Let's just do one more just to see. And we got Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So this person could have any of those placements, or possibly you do. So I'm going to go ahead and move this aside. Let's go on to your next section. We are going to be looking at your blessings as well it could be seen as blessings or things that you can look forward to so you got taurus i have number 14 so like i was saying before it's funny because mercury is going to be in taurus um but taurus is all about your values your ethics your what you value your possessions money 
um, and also how you, you know, take care of yourself, the things that make you feel comfortable. In the first house, in the fourth house, or it's not really the first or the fourth house, but I'm seeing this as the houses. One makes me think of the first house and four makes me think of the fourth house. So this is your body, your ideas, your intellect. And then the fourth house makes me think of how you nurture yourself and your comfort zone and your family life. So I'm seeing that you guys are going to be splurging yourself during this Mercury retrograde. However you like to splurge, this could be through eating, food, because um, I am seeing Taurus, and this can talk about food, but it's making me think of buying yourself something nice um, to accentuate yourself. So maybe a new outfit, maybe something that you can enjoy emotionally, but I'm seeing some sort of comfort item um, that you guys may be buying. You guys also got travel, and it says go someplace you've never been. An adventure awaits. Travel will open your heart entangled stuck in a complicated situation stuck in a rut or repeating a cycle there's no easy exit strategy you guys got parental care as well as forgiveness so again i was feeling earlier before um you guys could be getting an apology from someone you got the king of cups as well as the six of cups so i'm seeing someone from your past wanting to you know what I'm seeing here? So things that you may be looking forward to, I'm seeing that you guys may be wanting to do something that makes you feel good, that has something to do with either your physical body or your way of thinking. Um, I'm seeing a splurge of you buying something nice, or possibly you guys could actually be visiting family, because the fourth house can talk about your family. So maybe a way for you to, um, maybe something that you're going to be looking forward to is you're going to be visiting a parent during this time. And maybe when you go visit this parent, this parent could be apologizing for something or maybe yeah because I was getting Scorpio and this person could be a Scorpio sun moon or rising but I'm seeing I'm seeing someone wanting to offer you something someone may even be wanting to buy you something I'm seeing you going and visiting someone or are you traveling to go somewhere and you are going to be visiting an old friend or someone that you look up to or a parental figure um, and I'm seeing this be really good for you, and I'm seeing there's going to be some sort of solution to an issue with someone else that you may have been having. Like, it could be a karmic cycle, it could be, you know, a fight that you keep having with someone. Maybe someone doesn't understand your way of thinking, but there's something about how someone is going to be apologizing for their disagreements or possibly wanting to, you know, make you feel good or make you feel special, wanting you to know that you're appreciated. So I am seeing that. I'm seeing someone wanting to show you that they appreciate you. And it could very well be a family member or someone that you respect. It's definitely someone that you know, though. And I'm getting that they could be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm also hearing Pisces in my head, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this person. Um, but I feel like these things are kind of separate. Like, this is kind of separate. Um, and then this is kind of a separate message as well. So, let's go ahead and see what else is going on. All right, so we got Uranus, we got the second house, and we got Scorpio again. So, yeah, there's definitely a shocking event. So, suddenness, unexpectedness in the second house makes me think of money, possessions. Um, and I'm also hearing choices as well. So, I feel like there's going to be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising that could be unexpectedly wanting to offer you some sort of support, either through, you know, apology, admiration, or possibly someone wants to actually give you something, buy something for you. Um, I'm definitely seeing a Scorpio, though. Like, I'm seeing support from a Scorpio. And I'm also seeing this as, like, you know, your work ethic, your values. So, I feel like there's something different about you during this time and you're going to be having someone want to recognize that but also tell you how proud of you they are because of it. So this is going to be different for everyone but that's just what I'm getting for your guys' uh, blessings and things that you guys can look forward to. So let's go ahead and look at your guys' challenges. Um, I'm hearing delays in my head so this may be a delay. Um, challenges, things that you know you may need to be patient with. Yeah, or lessons. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, so you got part of fortune increase. You're wanting something to increase. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's something about your money here. Moving. 
as well as ripple effect, even a small act can make a difference. You can impact your surroundings. Don't underestimate the little things. So what I'm seeing as a lesson or a challenge during this Mercury retrograde is I actually feel like some of you guys are wanting to move when it comes to your physical location. Um, maybe you guys are saving up, up money to actually buy a new home or possibly wanting to change where you live. Maybe you guys are wanting to work somewhere else. But I'm seeing something about physically moving away and starting starting something new. You want to start something new and it seems like you've either been waiting for the right time or you've been saving your money for it. And I'm seeing the four and the five. It's making me think of your home and this is making me think of change. So you're waiting for a change to happen. But it seems like your spirit guides want you to know that even though it may not be happening as quickly as you want, I do see that the little things that are happening around you during this time are helping and benefiting you. So even though, for example, Let's just say, this is kind of a weird example, but let's just say you're trying to save up enough money for a car, okay? Let's just say this car is like $20,000, right? And you only have like a grand. And so you're, you've been trying to save up your money for the past couple of months and you've been getting little things like maybe a $5, like I'm seeing this as tips, like randomly getting checks for like $300 and like stashing like maybe half of it away. It's not calculating and like adding up as fast as you want, but like little bits over time really do add up. It's like when you buy a coffee every single day, every single day, okay, think about that. That's like a $5 coffee every day. To yourself, you're thinking like, oh, it's only $5. That's not that much money. And then by the end of the week, it's like $35, okay, for seven days of coffee. And you're like, oh, wow. And you do 35 times four, right? That, it just it adds up very quickly, but you don't really think about it because it just seems so small in the moment. So your spirit guides are telling you that I'm also seeing, you know, I am seeing money coming to you during this Mercury retrograde, uh, but it's my, it might not be as big as what you are thinking it will be. But I'm hearing a domino effect for this card. I feel like there's going to be some sort of new income or something that is going to be happening for you guys, Pal One, during this Mercury retrograde where something's going to start slowly increasing for you. Whether this be, for example, let's just say you have a YouTube channel like I do and you're waiting for that subscriber count and it's kind of slowly trickling in like you're seeing new subscribers but not as much as what you're hoping for right but it's like over time little bits at a time it's going to attract other people and other things to want to add on to that so i'm seeing little trickles of things adding up and getting bigger over time but it's also making me think that these little trickles of money and stuff is going to be i don't i don't know why i'm hearing convincing but it's like making me think that other investors are going to want to start adding it their coins into the pot, I guess. I, I know I'm kind of coming up with some weird like analogies, but it's like one person sees value in you. They're giving you what you want. And then other people are going to be see this person doing what they're doing. And they're going to be like, oh, I wonder why they're doing that. And they're going to be watching you as well. And they're going to start taking notice of you also. And they're also going to start wanting to, um, you know, give you the admiration that you want. But it's making me think of that kind of mindset, that kind of mentality. So even if you feel frustrated during this time, things are, you know, kind of happening, but not really. I'm seeing that this is more than what you might think. And there's a bigger picture to it. There's more than meets the eye with the situation. So let's go ahead and get the last messages. Yeah, we got Pluto. We got Pisces in the fifth house. So again, five makes me think of change. But the fifth house in astrology makes me think of fun, passion, free-spirited energy, creativity, romance. Um, this is an ending and a new beginning, a transformation. And this also makes me think of fate because the 12th house is ruled by Neptune and Pisces. This is like karma, fate, energy. Um, this can talk about illusions and dreams. It's making me think that there's going to be some sort of transformation when it comes to your money, your moving situation, or your work. It's something physical. And I'm seeing that it's going to start happening slowly during this Mercury retrograde. But your spirit guides are wanting to teach you patience as well as gratitude during this time, okay? It's not going to happen all at once, but I am seeing that there's movement that is starting to happen during this time frame for you. So pile one, that's all that I have for the cards. I'm going to go ahead and end your guys' reading off with some charms for your guys' Mercury Retrograde. And that will be 
about it. So let me get all the dice out of here. I'm here in vacation time, so some of you guys may be taking some vacation time during this Mercury retrograde. I'm seeing that you guys will be very happy with that. Um, obviously, it's vacation, but <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing that. All right. Mercury, that's funny. You got out and Mercury. You got sunshine. You got a key to your heart. Okay, someone, I'm telling you, you either have someone's key to their heart or you're going to be offering a key to your own heart to someone. You got champagne bubbles. You got the eighth house. You got this person or this headphones makes me think of music. You got an Aquarius and also Saturn. So let's see here. I'm also hearing right now, Pluto is actually technically in Aquarius until June. Um, I'm seeing something about during Pluto and Aquarius could be a time where someone wants to, again, offer you some sort of key to their heart, or you guys could be getting a key to move. There's something about either moving or someone wanting to offer something to you um, during this time. Something's going to be coming out either during Mercury and retrograde or during that Pluto and Aquarius. And again, that's kind of around the same time frame. I don't really know what exactly it is, but something is going to be revealed to you during this time. That's what I'm hearing. We also have sunshine and Saturn. So they're kind of contradicting each other. So something that was either being hidden from you, stalled or blocked off is going to be coming to the surface during this Mercury and retrograde. When I see the champagne bubbles, this is making me think of I'm hearing love drunk in my head so some of you guys may actually be meeting someone um, that really gives you a lot of fuzzy feelings but I'm, I'm just seeing this being a time of feeling excited feeling happy feeling warm um, and again we got a cup so there's an ace of cup so it's making me think of I'm hearing like a juicy confession like again it's making me think of like a conversation uh, vulnerability emotions running high this is making me think that your emotions are going to be kind of all over the place but I'm seeing it be a good thing not a bad thing um, I'm also seeing that there could be an Aquarius sun moon or rising that may be going through a hard time uh, during this mercury and retrograde I don't know if that's you or if you know someone when that's an Aquarius sun moon or rising um, you guys may want to reach out to them just to see if they're doing okay because I'm seeing this as like mental health issues and depression um, and them isolating themselves so if you know someone like that maybe just go ahead and reach out to them just to check on them during this mercury and retrograde but pile one that is all that I have for you guys so if you liked this video go ahead and comment like and subscribe down below i'll be posting more videos like this in the future and i will see all of you guys next time bye hey pal two welcome to your guys's pick a card reading about what is happening for you during mercury and retrograde so like i was saying in the very beginning mercury and retrograde happens three to four times a year so this is a timeless reading so if you happen to come across this reading at a later date go ahead and check when the next mercury and retrograde will be happening for you but if you're watching this when i post this mercury and retrograde will be in taurus and it will be happening from april 21st all the way through may 14th so I'm seeing that there's this Mercury in retrograde is kind of typical for a Mercury in retrograde because it's making me think of things or people coming back to the surface or things or people from the past wanting to make a an awakening or some sort of like, you know, an announcement to you. And I'm getting with your guys' card with regeneration. You thought something was over, but my God, it is not. And I'm not just seeing them wanting to like, you know, if this is talking about a person, this is just not some person wanting to come in for like a few weeks and then dip. I'm seeing this as new growth, so a new foundation wanting to take root. You thought this connection was over. You thought this was, you know, dead weight. Maybe this is some sort of work environment or something that you had your hopes on and you thought it was over and done with and there is no hope for it. I'm seeing that, you know, this is going to be the time for you that something new is going to be happening with either this connection or this situation and I'm seeing that this is something of a commitment or a foundation. So I'm seeing whatever this new thing is, is not just going to be leaving your life. It's not a lesson. I actually see this as a commitment for you. Um, let's see what area of your life this could be talking about. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other cards. 
So we got Saturn and the third house. So I'm seeing some form of no communication. So the third house can talk about your ideas, communication, people from your past, like your childhood friends or childhood people. Saturn makes me think of delays, no communication, uh, blockages. So I'm seeing someone that you may have lost contact with. Uh, maybe this is an idea or some, yeah, it's making me think of idea, communication, or something about social media or the internet, but it's making me think of communication mostly, something that you thought about or someone that you talked to before um, and there's been no contact, there's been delays, blockages, you thought it was over, right? Something that you thought was over is about to basically resurface and start something new. So it's going to be gen generic and general for, you know, everyone. So I don't know why I said generic, but it's going to be general for this reading because a lot of people are going to be watching this. So kind of just take what applies but this is what I'm going to be doing for you guys, pile two. I was going to be making three piles in front of you. So pile one is going to be what you're focused on uh, during this Mercury in retrograde. Pile two is going to be blessings or things that you can look forward to. And then pile three is going to be challenges or lessons during this time. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and make the piles right in front of you before I go over the messages. So if you want to skip, skip this part, you can. Uh, for pile two, what are they going to be focusing on during during this Mercury and retrograde for pile two spirit. Okay, this wants to come out. What blessings are pile two going to? Okay, blessings. What challenges are pile? For some reason, I want to take two cards, but no. There you go. Okay. Next deck. <laughs> Uh, what is pile two going to be focusing on during this Mercury and retrograde? Blessings for pile two. Challenges for pile two. Okay. What is pile two going to be focusing on during this Mercury and retrograde? Okay, whoa, whoa. Blessings for pile two. You got two cards here. Challenges for pile two, please. All right. Tarot cards. What is pile two? Whoa. Blessings for pile two. That's weird. Okay, I want to take these cards in this card, but that's way too many. I'm just going to take this one. I feel like this one, too. There we go. Challenges for... Jeez Louise. Sorry, I'm adding my commentary. I'm not trying to talk, but it's just... A lot of, I feel like there's a lot of cards wanting to, like, spill out, and it's funny because your message is all about something new out of something old and, like, stagnant and no movement so it seems like for you guys the message that I'm kind of already feeling right now is expect a lot of things to unfold and a lot of things to happen during a time when things weren't really happening at all it's almost making me think of a dam that's been blocked off um, and it kind of just all starts rushing in so uh, I don't know why I felt like I had to say that, but I'm going to go over your guys' uh, main theme or main focus first, and I'll go over the rest of the other piles. Blessings. Oh my God, you guys. Blessings for your main theme. You got the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, Fantasy, and Relationship Dynamics. Oh my God. Okay, so this is an escape from reality. Fantasies are mirroring your desires. You got blessings in a card talking about desires. Don't just wish your life away. I'm seeing that whatever you want during this time is about to come into reality. I'm seeing this as your mind, by the way. We had a the dice that talked about your mind, your intellect, and communication. I'm seeing that what you want, you can manifest really easily during this Mercury and retrograde. And I'm seeing the Queen of Swords as, again communication in your mind. You could also be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, if that resonates. But I'm seeing peace of mind. I'm seeing happiness, celebrations. Again, the card says reunions on here and belonging. And we also got a card that says relationship dynamics. I feel like you guys are going to be having some sort of reunion with someone that you may have had a falling out with or someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, and I'm seeing this being really, really happy, fun time for you. I also see the Four of Wands 
begins as some sort of celebration. So this could be a baby shower, a wedding, a party, a get together. So I'm seeing you guys, I'm hearing the life of the party. So you guys could be invited to go to some sort of outing or get together with multiple people. And I'm seeing you guys kind of be the shiny, like the shiny star. Like you guys are going to be gravitating a lot of attention towards you. And I'm also hearing about how if there's someone that you want attention from, I'm seeing that that could happen for you. Because I'm hearing the world is your oyster at this time. And it doesn't have to just be people that you want. I'm seeing a new foundation. Again, four makes me think of a foundation. Wands is inspiration and your imagination and your drive. So I'm seeing a lot of like, again, fire with the earth. Wands is fire. But four equals earth. It makes me think of practical. So you guys can manifest things into your physical reality with like through your imagination, your thoughts and ideas. So I'm telling you, this is going to be a very blessed time of the things that you guys are imagining, the things that you guys are constantly thinking about, you can manifest this really, really easily at this time. And for some of you guys, I'm seeing some sort of win-win situation with a person, a friend group, a parental. I I'm seeing love mostly, you guys, but I'm seeing someone in particular that you haven't spoken to in a while, I'm seeing that working out in your favor. Um, I'm also just seeing that you guys will be really likable at this time. There's something about how people will really want to be around you during this Mercury in retrograde. And I'm seeing people wanting to offer you things, compliment you, like social gatherings. That's what I'm seeing as the main focus during this time. So let's go ahead and roll my dice and see what else. Third house again, we got Leo and the sun. So yeah, I'm just seeing that you guys are going to be the center of attention during this uh, Mercury and retrograde. When I see Leo, this talks about your the fifth house and also the sun as well, as well as your heart chakra. So I'm seeing you guys are going to be feeling very emotionally full and satisfied. I'm seeing you being around people that you love and adore, having a really good time. I'm just seeing a lot of emotional healing and happiness. Um, I'm also seeing if you guys have been feeling kind of bored or things haven't been going well for you i'm seeing you getting out of the house a lot too um but i'm just i'm seeing that you guys are just going to be feeling really blessed like a really really blessed and it's like because you guys are able to communicate the things that you want again you're manifesting things that you want really easily you're around people that you love and adore i'm just seeing a lot of peace of mind and happiness because of quality time with people and also things are going to be really easily attainable to you at this time and peaceful people People just genuinely genuinely liking you at this time again you're going to be the center of attention people are going to be looking up to you wanting to talk to you ask advice for you on things that's what i'm seeing for you guys as your center uh i don't know center focus i guess for this mercury and retrograde so let's go ahead and look at your guys's blessings card which i'm really curious about that because your main focus was blessings so let's see messages third house we're seeing a lot of threes here you guys again the third house is all about communication but you guys could be seeing a lot of three 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 that could be an angel number for you the third house is also gemini placement so you guys could be dealing with the gemini sun moon or rising or possibly you are a gemini sun moon or rising but again mercury retrograde is gemini as well so we got the page of wands the hierophant supernatural your spirit guides are speaking to you again your spirit guides are speaking to you through angel synchronicities i'm seeing this as 333 999 i was hearing 1111 in my head uh, make contact with the spirit world develop your psychic abilities closed heart don't make the heart a forbidden place keep your heart open and let love in a guarded heart requires patience as well as windfall wow i'm telling you guys your blessings is all about people wanting to reach out to you. You guys are going to be getting a windfall of people wanting to get to know you better, people wanting to like hang out with you, people wanting to go do things with you. Um, the Hierophant is interesting because this makes me think of like you, again, I'm seeing you as that woman that's sitting there. You, you are going to be seen as really smart, really knowledgeable, but also other people can look up to you, right? You guys could even be getting into a spiritual practice and people may see you as a spiritual leader or maybe just like i'm hearing icon in my head so kind of just take what resonates i'm just seeing that someone or people in general are going to be looking up to you as 
someone that they value, someone that they want to get to know better, and also someone that they can learn from. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people, like, again, windfall makes me think of a lot. So I'm seeing a lot of messages coming in, a lot of invi invitations, possibly people wanting to, like, buy you things. But I'm seeing people, like, you guys are just going to be dealing with a lot of people. But I'm seeing it in a good sense pile, too. And I'm seeing people wanting to, like, you know, they're excited to get to know you. They're excited to go do things with you. Um, they want to hear from you. Again, your closed heart. I feel like you guys have been kind of dealing with this closed heart energy because before it made me think when the first card that you guys chose, it made me think that you thought something was dead and over with. You thought, you know, no one liked you or this isn't going to be moving along. But something's changing where it's going from nothing to a lot very quickly. Um, again, like I was saying, it may even feel very magical. Like during this time frame in your guys' life, you may be feeling like someone like flipped a switch on your life. Like something was off and then someone turned it on and it's like, whoa, 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 what is happening here? Um, it may be feeling very shocking to you, but it's like... It's making me think that you're, <laughs> I'm seeing this cup and the butterflies here. It's making me think that your spirit guides are wanting to open you up to new opportunities, new people. They're like, you're ready now. You're ready for the blessings. You're ready for these people to come in. We got exciting things that we want to show you about what's going to be happening to you very soon. But like that kind of stuff. Sorry about that. Um, I had to answer my door, but... Let's go ahead and uh, see what area of your life is going to be affected when it comes to blessings. We got the first house. We got Aquarius and Taurus. I didn't mean to get two zodiac signs, but um, I'll keep those, I guess. I meant to get this one. And Jupiter. That is so fitting. I'm also seeing the 14th. I'm seeing 41 and 14 being significant. I'm seeing that you guys could be getting a lot of opportunities through an Aquarius or a Taurus sun, moon, or rising. These two signs could be like could be people wanting to come forward to you um, or it could be signs of that you have. But I'm seeing the first house as your physical body. I'm seeing this as your ideas, your mindset, you. This is talking about you. You you are going to be having a lot of opportunities and I'm seeing this being unexpected opportunities but these opportunities could also be relating to when it comes to your values your work ethic money possession so I'm seeing opportunities for money um, but Taurus is also ruled by Venus which this can relate to love as well but I'm seeing like unexpected big opportunities that are going to be coming to you it's going to be asking you to take a leap of faith as well um, but I'm seeing people places, things, like you guys are going to be expecting, not expecting, you guys are going to be encountering a lot of things happening to you very, very, very quickly, very fast and very unexpected. So that's what I'm getting for your guys' blessings during this time. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to your guys' challenges and lessons, and that will be about it pile two, and then I will end this reading off with some charms as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. All right, you got Leo, I will, number 17. So again, I'm seeing that there's something about how this could very well deal with the Leo sun, moon, or rising, but this is making me think of your will to stand up, your confidence levels, you being in the spotlight, being center stage. You got family changes. You got beauty. You got eight of wands. I was telling you, there's a lot of things that are going to be happening very quickly, as well as the seven of wands. So I'm seeing that this blessing is also going to be quite a challenge for you because it's going to be asking you to get out of your comfort zone, but it's also going to be getting you to step out into a leadership role. Again, you're going to be getting a lot of eyes on you. I was feeling that earlier. A lot of people are going to be noticing you at this time people are going to want to get to know you people may be finding you really beautiful at this time i was kind of getting that you're going to be noticed for something uh very soon pile two you could be going through like a physical transformation i'm seeing that you guys are being seen as very beautiful very otherworldly is also what i'm hearing but also a lot of people admire you at this time but there's something about how your confidence may be a little bit shaky there's something about how 
yes there's a lot it's, it's funny because it's like these wands are going quick and then this person's like fuck i gotta fight these off it's like you guys are going to be having like your fight or flight being triggered you guys again there's a card that talked about your closed heart you guys are going to be feeling like you can't trust these people or trust these options or opportunities i'm getting that you guys have been hurt really badly in the past and so it's really hard for you to trust other people's intentions um you're afraid that you know if good things come to you they may just be leaving your life as easily as they came in i'm kind of getting like an eeyore type of mindset and your spirit guides are trying to basically let you know that no you earned this this is your time to shine um you need to find the value in yourself as well and i'm seeing something about how there's something about family changes i feel like you guys could actually be you know, seen as someone that's respected in your family. There's something about how your role, your dynamic when it comes to connections is changing in a way. And it doesn't have to be family. It could be, but I'm seeing like how people looked up to you or viewed you in the past is going to be changing very, very drastically during this Mercury retrograde. And I feel like, you know, you are still trying to catch up with this change yourself. Like, I think you've been slowly noticing that there's been changes happening to you and your surroundings surroundings and you know you've been trying to grasp it and you've been you've been kind of like taking things slowly but it's like whatever this changes you need to really like get with the picture <laughs> like get with the program pile two because it's going to be coming in really quickly and there's this feeling of like you feel like you don't deserve it you feel like you're not good enough you feel like you're not pretty enough handsome enough whatever um and so that may be a challenge for you during this time because these changes will be happening so fast but you feel like you can't keep up with the changes themselves and you may be unintentionally like trying to push people or things away um maybe feeling kind of doubtful that this is for you but your spirit guides want you to be proud of yourself for how far you've come and also appreciate yourself as much as these other people because again i, I do see that you guys are meant to be in some sort of like seen as a leader seen as powerful seen as independent confident beautiful because you are those things right um and your spirit guides want you to know that they want you to appreciate that about yourself. Yeah, we got the fifth house. We got Saturn as well as Cancer. So the fifth house talks about expression. Cancer talks about your self-care as well as how you feel about yourself and your comfort zone. And Saturn is all about limitations, blockages, and restrictions. So you guys are feeling very stuck. You guys want to be able to express yourself, but you're kind of like afraid to. I'm hearing you're afraid of judgment. You're afraid of people not making you feel good about yourself. Again, your self-esteem is very much linked to your personal expression and it's making me think that you guys have had some sort of situations with your family or friends in the past where they made you feel small they made you feel weak or they made you feel insignificant in some sort of way and so you're getting all this attention because other people are realizing your worth but you're still trying to realize your own worth as well again it's like you guys are really wonderful awesome amazing people and the blessings that are going to be happening to you you deserve this and so much more um but it's like you still have this very small mindset of like you know thinking you only are worth this little bit when the universe wants to give you more than you could ever expect um so that is something that your spirit guides really want you to work on is i just pulled a card randomly and we got ending so yeah they want you to know that that chapter of your life is basically come to a close right again that card you chose talks about endings um your spirit guides want you to let go of this old mentality, this old mindset. Again, it's focused on the skull and the head. Your mindset, your ideas, how you communicate about yourself and to other people is changing very, very dramatically during this Mercury retrograde because you are a different person, right? And that's a beautiful thing. Um, and you need to be able to let go of who you were and what was once comfortable and fine with you because that's no longer how you feel about yourself anymore so that's all that i have for you guys' cards uh pile two let's go ahead and do your finishing last messages with your charms about this mercury and retrograde for you guys and then that'll be about it okay so we got jupiter again we got the north node we got but i'm telling you there's hesitancy here um and number six as well as this teapot so <coughs> sorry you guys i'm 
my throat's getting dry. <laughs> so I'm seeing some sort of uncomfortable change that is faded and destined for you that will be bringing you really big opportunities, uh, bringing you happiness and peace. But again, there's hesitancy because I'm seeing past gossip. There's gossip going around, um, criticism. You're worried about what people will say or think of you because of these changes. But I'm seeing that there's some really great things headed your way during, like, starting up this Mercury in retrograde. Your spirit guides want you to know that this is destined for you. This is fated for you. Even if you guys were to not accept this, this would find another way to you, right? This was meant for you always. What's meant for you will always find you. So even if you try to push it away, it will always try to come back, okay? Um, and I'm seeing that, you know, you deserve every good thing that's about to happen in your guys' life. Um, and you need to start believing that because, again, like I was saying, your world is your oyster. There's something about how the things that you manifest or think about at this time will come to you very, very easily during this Mercury in retrograde. So you need to know that you guys are a co-creator of your, of your universe and whatever you want is very easily accessible to you during this time okay so that's all that i have for you guys pal too i hope you enjoyed this reading and if you did go ahead and comment like and subscribe down below i'll be posting more videos like this in the future and i will see all of you guys next time bye hey pal three welcome to your guys's pick a card reading about what is happening for you during this Mercury retrograde? So I was saying in the very beginning of my video that Mercury retrogrades happen three to four times a year. So this could be looked at as a timeless reading. So if you're watching this at a later date, just go ahead and look up when your next Mercury retrograde will be happening for you guys. But if you're watching this when I post this, Mercury retrograde is going to be happening from April 21st all the way through May 14th. And it will be happening a day after a solar eclipse in Aries will be happening. So there's a lot of astrological transits that are going on at this time. Um, and I'm seeing the 26th here. So I'm seeing that the 26th of the day could be significant if you're watching this when I post this. And again, it could be significant if you're watching this at a later date. But again, like I said, uh, Mercury retrograde starts on the 21st. So possibly the first week of Mercury retrograde on the 26th, that could be a significant day. But you guys chose the card that says happy, happy. I'm seeing this as recognition for past effort. Um, the egg makes me think of you setting some sort of intention or you starting up on something. And it looks like the woman is holding a star and the star was given to her so something that you may have started or something that you may have been manifesting I, it's making me think of something that you've been doing though something new an idea that you have taken action on you're going to be getting recognition for it and i'm seeing you being successful with that around the 26th of april if you guys are watching this when i post this but the 26th seems significant but i'm seeing this as you know, you feeling like a star, you feeling worthy. I don't know why I'm hearing feeling worthy, but you're going to be feeling worthy. You're going to be feeling really happy and just proud of yourself. Like I'm seeing other people recognizing you, but I'm feeling this energy from you, Pile 3, where you just feel super proud of yourself for doing this. It's making me think that you overcame something um, for sure. And when I see the two and the six, the, if you were to look at that as the houses in astrology, the two makes me think of your skills, your talents, your possessions, how you make money, um, also your how you view money too. So I'm seeing that. And then the sixth house can talk about your acts of service. This can talk about your overall health and well-being um, as well as your work. So I'm seeing money and your work being some sort of focus of this achievement or happiness happiness for you guys, pile three. Um, it's making me think that you're going to be feeling really valued and also respected for the quality that you put into your work or what you do when it comes to making money. But I'm also seeing comfortability here when it comes to money as well, or something that you will feel proud of yourself for because you're really good at something. So that's what I'm seeing for that. What I'm going to be doing for you guys is I'm going to be making three piles. So I'm going to be making a pile of your focus for Mercury retrograde blessings and 
things that you can look forward to, as well as challenges and lessons for this Mercury retrograde. And to end your guys' video off, I will be doing charms. But what I'm going to be doing is I was going to be shuffling the cards right now. Before I go over the messages, I'm going to be making the pile. So if you want to skip this part, you can. Uh, for pile three, what is their main focus during Mercury retrograde? What is the main focus during Mercury? And I feel like this card wants to come out. I haven't done this for the other piles, but I feel called to do two of those cards. Blessings during, okay. Challenges for pile three during Mercury retrograde. Okay, let's do my tarot cards. Oh no, did I shuffle this all weird? No, I don't think so. Okay, sorry. Uh, main focus for pile three during this Mercury retrograde. I feel like this is supposed to go in the blessing section because it landed on the blessing section. So Mercury retrograde, main focus for pile three. I feel like your blessings, you guys got three cards. I feel like your blessings really want to be the highlight for this Mercury retrograde. I don't know why. Or it's like this excitement. I'm kind of getting like this excitement of like, oh, there's good things coming. Um, again, you chose a card that says happy, happy. And not only that, your card has a rainbow. So it's like peace is coming. Um, after a time of stressful situations, a peace, I'm hearing peace offering or a time of peace and happiness is going to be happening in your guys' life very soon. So I feel like your spirit guides are really wanting to reiterate that this is a time of peace. Um, lessons and challenges for pile three. Okay. Main focus for pile three. Blessings for pile three. Challenges for pile three. Focus for blessings. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Five cards just came out. Um, actually, six. That is way too many cards. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm going to reshuffle this and do this again. I'm telling you, the blessing section is just wanting to, like, throw itself. Jesus Christ. And challenges. I'm just seeing you guys finding something worth celebrating for. Like, I just, I see this being a really good time for you. And I'm also hearing jumping at opportunities. So it's like, you're going to be, I'm going after this, this, this. Like, you're going to be excited to go after things. So let's go ahead and focus on your guys' main theme first and see what is going on. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Blessings is your main theme as well as Leo, I will. I was feeling this energy. You guys are going to be feeling really confident during this time of Mercury retrograde. You guys could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. That doesn't have to resonate, but I'm just seeing this being, I'm hearing ego. This is the going to be the time of your life, pile three, where you're going to be feeling like you are just on top of the world. Your ego and your self-confidence are going to be soaring because a lot of things are going to start working out in your favor. Um, and I'm also, like I was getting earlier, there's going to be opportunities where you're just going to be going after them. Like I'm getting this optimism of like, I can do this, I can do that, feeling proud of yourself. When I see Leo, Leo makes me think of the performer, right? This is someone that's very entertaining. They're charming. I'm I'm seeing you performing in some sort of aspect. So I don't really know what that means for you or someone that's a really good entertainer. So maybe you guys are just really witty. You're funny. People are going to be really liking you at this time. Um, you guys can kind of like not manipulate, but you can kind of get the things that you want through other people because of your wit as well as how you can charm others. Um, but people will also be feeling really drawn to you at this time because of something that you're doing, what you're saying or how you're looking or just your vibe, I guess. Um, we also got a card that says timing. When the time is right, it will happen. Don't rush the journey. Time will reveal what's been hidden. I'm telling you, there's been something about timing. It also looks like it's at four o'clock. 
So four o'clock could be significant for someone. I was seeing the 20, what number did I see? The 26th at four o'clock. That could actually be a time frame for someone. So April 26th, if you're watching this when I post this or whatever month during a Mercury retrograde, I'm seeing the 26th at 4 p.m. That could be significant. We got relationship dynamics. Uh, we also got eight of pentacles. We got eight of cups as well as the six of wands. There's that recognition. Um, I'm seeing something here about your work or what you value or something that you're really dedicated to. You're going to be feeling like it's weird because I feel like this is something that you have emotionally walked away from. Whatever this was, I feel like this is something that this is something from your past or something that you've been working towards. And I'm getting this impression that you kind of just been solely focused on this, but it was to the point where you weren't really like focusing on yourself at the time. You weren't really investing in your, like your relationships. I am getting like, I'm getting that the thing that you guys have been working on so hard, the thing that you've been so focused on during this Mercury retrograde, I feel like this is going to be a time of peace as well as a time of a break for you and I'm seeing that during this time of you resting or this time of you taking a break or taking your mind off of what this is is when you guys will be receiving recognition and success for it so it's like you're taking your time you're taking your mind off of something that you just been thinking about obsessing over constantly and it's like that's when the thing that you want will come to you. So maybe you guys have been really focused on work and your family and friends have been wanting to spend time with you. Maybe you just haven't been nurturing those connections with others. So you're like, okay, I'm going to be leaving work a little bit early or oh, I'm going to take a couple days off more than I usually do for my, you know, for my weekend. I'm going to have a long weekend or I'm going to take a mini vacation. And it's like when you're not focusing on work, you could even be turning your phone off and going and traveling somewhere and when you get back to cell service like you're going on a plane like let's just say you're going to like Hawaii or somewhere tropical or you're just going somewhere where you don't have cell service because you're on a plane you're traveling you turn your phone back on and then that's when you see all these notifications of something really good happening or you being recognized for something or you being offered something but I'm seeing you taking a mental break Focusing on your loved ones, doing things that you would do if you weren't working. Maybe these are hobbies or something. And then that's when you guys will be receiving this recognition and victory. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this is something that you guys have been doing for a while. But I'm seeing this being associated with you spending quality, quality time with loved ones. Um, it's like when you least expect it is when it's going to happen. That's what I'm hearing for you. I almost got two of the same days. Let's do this. Okay, so you got the fifth house, you got Aries as well as Pisces energy. So I'm seeing mind-body connection here. This makes me think of obsessing for some reason because this talks about self, not self-addiction, but it talks about addictive personalities, uh, addictive behaviors, self-delusion, and then this focuses, focuses on the, the head-body part, but also can talk about your body, your drive, and this talks about expression as well as playtime. So again, I'm getting this feeling for you guys that this is going to be a time of I'm hearing being able to express yourself freely but I'm getting that you guys are going to be getting some sort of mental break like you guys are going to be taking a break or taking some sort of mini vacation to kind of relax your mind um taking it easy being in your own la la land and okay I did not mean to do that but it went to the south node, which again, it makes me think that you guys are relaxing. You guys are just taking time off. And I'm telling you, it's like around the time that you take time off, something's going to change. Something's going to happen that will be either presenting a new opportunity for you or you guys will be recognized for past efforts, past work. But I'm seeing you feel very prideful and happy and like a boost of an ego. That's what it's making me think of during a time of rest. So just take what resonates for you guys but that's what I got um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to you guys' blessing section because it seems like the blessings really want to come out uh, pile one was kind of like this too um, similar I feel like yours is a little bit different though so let's look at your guys' blessings earth element stability number 38 so yeah i'm getting a sense of if you've been feeling like money hasn't been coming in if you feel like you know 
that stable foundation has been kind of shaky. You're wondering when things are going to be feeling settled. Uh, it's making me, it's giving me the impression, Pile 3, that someone's been telling you like about this new job that you've been wanting to go after and they're like, oh yeah, you know, you can't apply for it yet or oh, maybe you already applied but you're waiting for that call back or something. It's like you know it's going to happen but you don't know when and it looks like around this time is when you could be getting an email, a call back, um, that sort of acceptance or I'm, I'm seeing a call confirmation of something something about a confirmation yeah two of wands even this card this makes me think of planning right you've been planning you've been waiting for this to happen and this is making me think of like the green light confirmation that this is happening for you memories epiphany you're experiencing new insights working towards a brighter future you're ready to accept reality as well as the tea habits are creating drama in your life distance yourself from gossip careful who your friends are so I'm not really, I am actually getting two different messages here. So there's two different things that are a blessing here. Um, I'm actually seeing that there's going to be people from your past that will be gossiping about you, but I'm seeing this as good gossip. There's something that you guys have been really wanting that's going to be confirmed or being given to you. It's something that you've been planning, that you've been thinking about wondering when it's going to happen. I see it happening during this Mercury retrograde or there, you're going to start seeing signs that it's about to happen during Mercury retrograde. And I'm seeing people from your past starting to see you in a new light. I'm seeing that. I'm, I'm seeing people or thing. it could even be past co-workers, but I'm seeing past people, people from the past talking about what you're doing because whatever this is, it's I'm hearing showcase. So whatever this confirmation or this thing that you've been waiting for is, is what other people can see and acknowledge and respect you for. So this is something that other people can see. Um, so I don't know if you work with a lot of people. Again, it doesn't have to be work confirmation stuff, but I'm seeing something that you guys will be highly respected for that will be easily, easily noticeable by others and I'm definitely seeing people from your past are going to be noticing this and they may be gossiping about you they may be being like oh look at what pile three's doing like I can't believe they did that um I'm also seeing that you guys are going to be attracting people like a light bulb. I'm seeing a lot of bugs, like butterflies, like you're going to be attracting good things, but also some negative people towards you at this time. I was kind of getting, again, you guys are seen as like an entertainer or you guys have this light to you. Again, you guys have a star here. So you're going to be very noticeable during this Mercury retrograde for something that you guys are accomplishing, something that you set your intention out into the universe for, something you've been working on planning is finally going to be getting that recognition that you've been wanting and a lot of people are going to be realizing this noticing this you know appreciating you congratulating you but also there's going to be a lot of envious people talking about you because of this so i don't know if this is like a relationship change maybe you guys are getting into a committed relationship you guys have been seeing someone maybe this is a work dynamic change maybe you guys are receiving some sort of notoriety through i don't know like a company or money or a family change i don't know what it's going to be um i will do my dice in a minute but it's making me think of someone of you being able to change people's minds about you because of something that you're successfully about to do. And there's a lot of people that are going to be kind of like wanting to get the tea on you, wanting to know more. All right, let's see. Got Capricorn, we got Pluto, and the ninth house. So yeah, something that has to do with the physical. This could talk about, when I see Capricorn, this makes me think of the 10th house, which this can talk about your reputation. This can talk about your long-term career. This can talk about fame for some people. So you guys be maybe seen as famous or maybe well known in your community it doesn't have to be like fame as in like famous like a movie star or something but maybe for some of you it could be um but i'm seeing a lucky break for some of you guys and the ninth house talks about a risk this can talk about abundance uh new beginnings right this is like a really big opportunity like multiple opportunities this could be travel school uh, you becoming a teacher or you becoming some sort of person that can help others because um, this also talks about spirituality as well 
um, holding, also holding your belief on something. I'm seeing that this is something that you believed that you could do, something that you set your intention to pursue. You never wavered. You never gave up on yourself. And whatever that is, is going to be the catalyst to a new beginning in your guys' life. And it looks like it has something to do with your material, something that has to do with you or how people view you in this 3D world. But you guys are changing people's minds up about you. You guys are blossoming. I'm seeing that you guys have... I don't know what you guys have done, but it just, it makes me think that people are going to be realizing that you're not the same person as you once were because of whatever this thing is. You guys have successfully, or you guys are about to master something. So that is what I'm getting for you guys' blessings. Let's go ahead and look at your guys' uh, lessons, uh, blockages, challenges, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's go ahead and see what's up. Saturn, truth, literally the planet of limitations, blockages, and challenges. <laughs> so I'm seeing some sort of limitation. I'm actually hearing, I'm seeing the six again. Something about the past or someone from the past. I'm seeing a guy here. There's something about your past. I'm hearing something about your voice or how you were able to communicate. I know I got that card that said the T, which is gossip. I feel like there's something about the truth that's going to be coming out. Um, and I feel like this is not really a challenge for you. I feel like this was a past challenge. You know, honestly, yeah, let's see. Pleasure. This could have been someone that you guys once dated. Um, trust what gives you pleasure. Unlock the passion within. There's wisdom, wisdom in your body. I feel like some person that you guys may have been, um, and it could be a feminine too. It doesn't really matter. There could have been someone in your guys' past that you had a relationship with or some sort of situationship, but I'm seeing someone that you guys may have, uh, been sexually intimate with or someone that was a close friend. They may be resurfacing, into your guys' life during this Mercury retrograde, or they could actually start, like, talking about you to other people during this time. But let's see the other cards here. Courage, okay. Three of Swords. Okay, so I'm getting that this person, I am getting a person here. They could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, just from this card alone. They could be a masculine or a feminine, but it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually seeing that if you are the masculine pile three, you are going to be the person that talks about some sort of situationship or you're going to be pursuing someone from your past um, and talking to them about how, you know, they caused you some sort of grief, uh, the way that things were handled really hurt you. And if you are the feminine pile three, I see a masculine coming to you from your past, getting the courage to talk to you about the, how maybe some sort of breakup happened, but I'm seeing someone from your past that you don't talk to anymore. Um, the ending was kind of sad, or it was a very harsh ending to your guys' connection, and either you or this person is going to be getting the courage to reach out to you to want to talk about this. Um, and if it wasn't an ending, if this is someone that you don't know very well, but it's someone that maybe you went to school with, or they're a friend of a friend, they may be wanting to reach out to you because I'm hearing like I keep hearing betrayal, um, rejection, something like that. I'm hearing try again. So I'm also hearing for some of you guys, this could have been someone that wanted to like ask you out before. So maybe they tried asking you out or wanting to get to know you in the past. And maybe you like turned down their offers or rejected them. And they may be getting the courage to want to try again with you or maybe talk about what happened in the past. Um, but there's some sort of communication about something that didn't go their way or something that caused them pain. Or if you're the masculine, you're going to be talking to that feminine, telling them, um, that they caused you pain or you want to try and like fix the relationship or whatever this is talking about. So just kind of take what resonates. Let's see what zodiac sign this masculine could be. They could be a Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. They could be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They could be a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or they could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So let's go ahead and see what else you need to know. All right, we got Capricorn. We got we got the same placements again. Why is that? Except for this is different. Instead of the nine, you got the 10. So the 10th house, like I was telling you before, the 10th house and Capricorn are ruled by Saturn. Um, 
yeah, this is making me think of your reputation, your fame. There's something about how when you get recognized for this thing or if you become well known for this thing that you're about to accomplish is when people are going to be coming out of the woodworks to associate with you. And I'm seeing people that are new and people from your past. And whoever this person is from your past is going to be watching you succeed at something and I'm also seeing that it's going to be triggering them but they may want to like I'm seeing two different stories here this person may want to try to get back into your guys's life because they see you as someone that's different and new and shiny and they're going to be like oh I want to like you know I want to fix what we had or this is someone new that feels like you know they didn't have a shot with you but they're going to be trying and going after you anyway but I'm seeing something about how someone and just people in general are going to be looking at you different because of the success and i'm it's sad to say but money and power and success really it changes people's ideas on your worth which <laughs> success and money shouldn't dictate your self-worth or how people view you but you know in this very sad society that's what people look at is money and power and there's something about how you guys are going to be successfully reaching a goal when it comes to your 3D material. And people are going to be recognizing that and think that you are more worthy because of that, that you're better. And they want to get to know you and want to be in your life so that they can reap the benefit. And whoever this person is, is seeing you as a shiny star. They see you as brand new and they want to get at that, basically. They're going to be getting the courage to uh, reach out to you, right? So expect that pile three. So let's go ahead and do charms as your last messages and then that'll be about it. And as I picked out the charm box, I don't know if you guys can see that there's a telephone here and I saw the leaf. So, and Pisces is here. So, there could be a Pisces from your past that may want to reach out to you during this Mercury retrograde. So, I don't know who needs to hear that. Um, let's go ahead and... Okay, you guys got a lot more charms than the last pile did. Yeah, someone south notes. So some Pisces, there's a Pisces that's going to be reaching out to you. All right, you have to get a drink of water. Um, there's a Pisces from your past that's going to be reaching out to you. And I'm seeing that this could be during a time where it's fall season. They could be reaching out to you. Yeah, I'm seeing this around the fall. So if you're watching this at a later time, this could be resonating with you. Um, but if not, I know Mercury retrograde when I post this is happening during the springtime. So just kind of take what resonates. But this could still be a message applying to you. But I'm seeing a Pisces reaching out to you during the fall. Someone that you used to know. Um, we also got an ear and the ear landed on the pleasure card. So this is making me think that people are going to be hearing about this good news that you guys are about to come into uh, contact with. We got Saturn again, as well as I think, I'm pretty sure that's the Ace of Wands. So there was a block to some sort of new opportunity. But again, when I think of Saturn, when Saturn is ready to bless you, you know, he's like, I feel like Saturn, when it's time for you to reap your good karma, it's like really good, like better than Jupiter, right? If you've learned all your lessons, it can become a very blissful and blessed time for you. You guys have learned and listened. There's something about learning and listening. Um, the three of swords here. I feel like you guys are going to be learning or you have been learning through your heart, your horror, your horror. Why am I saying horror? I was going to say sorrow. Maybe something really awful happened to you. I don't know, but something about how you went through a lot of heartbreak, pain, sadness, grief. You have learned to listen to the lessons right? You, you took this opportunity to take your grief and transmute it into a way where you can empower yourself. You didn't let it beat you down, break you, or make you feel weak. You took it as like, okay, these are things that I need to work on. Um, you took it as, you know, not criticism, but as a way to benefit you in some sort of way. And it actually got you through a lot of the heartache that you were going through. Again, you guys had the courage to push through your obstacles. And I feel like a lot of the obstacles that you guys have been going through has to do with relationships with other people or just a significant person that you guys have been dealing with uh, recently. We also have the ninth house as well as this monkey. So again, you guys are curious for these new opportunities. Maybe you guys are going to be thinking about traveling during this Mercury retrograde. I'm seeing faraway travel. So you guys may be planning on traveling. Um, 
I'm hearing spirituality in my head. So maybe some of you guys are re-looking or revisiting your personal beliefs. Like what do you find as you know, valuable to you? What do you believe in? What are your goals for your life? Um, and it doesn't have to talk about money or career, but I feel like you guys are just curious on learning new information on how you guys can be the best version of yourself, but also what do you value in your life? Is it your family? Is it your home? Is it your friends? Like what, what do you hold close to you? And what can you do to help improve your life? And also, what could you release to kind of help you in that sense as well? Um, I'm also seeing 97. So you guys could be a 1997 baby or possibly you know someone with that birth year. But yeah, these could also be life path numbers. So maybe you know someone that's a life path 9 or a life path 7. But yeah, I think that's about it, Pile 3. So if you guys liked this video, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future, and I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!